So what types of decks recently did well in the International at Melbourne? Well, we've got Zapdos Jirachi, Pigarom, Pigarom, Zapdos Jirachi, Pigarom, Zapdos Jirachi, Zapdos Jirachi, Zapdos Jirachi, Pigarom, Pigarom. Seems this Pigarom is a big, hefty Pokemon. Surely a pincy little Hitmonchan isn't hurting this big boy. And we will hit and run and go to the Tapu Coco here. Feel the pain, Pigarom. Feel the pain. Ouch. Ouch. I would not be surprised if you're pulling pretty soon. I mean, you got a choice of keep this Pigarom in the active. And you're, uh, you're going down with probably a Hitmon chance hit and run again. Or you could run him to the bench. Yeah. Okay, so that was just mean picking on my opponent's weakness like that. But what about Zapdos Jirachi? I mean, surely my opponent's not scooping when he sees my puny little deck. He even resists my attacks. And the shrine starts working against him now. Don't want to play that down, that's for sure. We shall sell a wish. We've got a nest ball, which is really good. Or I've got a choice band, which gets me more value for the... rather than the Deancey. Yeah, so we're definitely going to go with the Choice Band here, because that gets me more value. So 150. That is excellent value right now. And we'll start powering up the Hitmonlee at the same time. We shall switch to the Buzzwell. And we shall hit in with the Sledgehammer. Yeah. Ah, uh, maybe they will scoop early. Anyway, hello and welcome to another budget build big family bash. This time featuring Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee. But these guys have got extra friends at the party. So, how does this deck work? Well, we're all about one NG attachment attacks. Starting with the Hitmonchan with Hit and Run. Hits for 30, but you may switch this to one of your bench Pokemon after you've attacked. But that 30 is powered up to 50 with the Ansi's Princess Cheers ability. Plus, if it's a GX Pokemon, chuck a Choice Band on there and it's now hitting for 80. Better than 30, but let's be honest, 80. It's not great. But then we combo with Hitmonlee. Special combo. Which, as long as we've used Hit and Run in the previous turn, we can snipe for 90 to one of our opponent's bench Pokemon. And 90 is huge. It's relevant when you're sniping the bench. I mean, we can snipe away a lot of NGs. We can snipe away at Malamars are going down. Jirachi builds are going down. Makago builds are going down. Uh, Pidgeotto engines are going down. There's a lot of relevant engines that are going down here with the special combo snipe. And if they run a GX Pokemon to the bench to get them away from the pain of being in the active, we can snipe them as well. So combos really nicely indeed. And then we've got other one NG attackers to follow. We can damage spread with a DCE onto a Tapu Koko for a flying flip 20 to all of our opponent's Pokemon. Plus we've got Buzzwell that we want to use when we've got, ex well our opponent's got exactly four prize cards remaining. And we're all one prize Pokemon, so they're gonna have four remaining at some stage. Which, with Sledgehammer, does 30, but an extra 90 damage when they've got four prize cards remaining, so that's 120. Add Deancey, that's 140. Add a Choice Band, that's 170. And then add a Shrine, and they're at least at 180 now. And we are taking, you know, some basic. GX Pokemon down. Not all GX Pokemon, but we're doing a lot of damage here in that four prize card turn from our opponent. Really relevant indeed. The rest of the deck is about getting as much switching happening as possible because we need to switch a lot in this deck. So we're running three escape ropes, we're running three switches, we're running a couple of escape boards, we're running three Guzmas, and we're running a Jirachi engine to help us get the supporter or the trainer card that we need at the time. So that's how the deck works. Shall we begin? I think we shall. Hello, Gouda Gradius. Welcome. We'll go Jirachi into the active and hit one lead down back.
All right. Metagross or Galio deck. If this Hitmon Lee, Hitmon Chan combo actually works, I will be shocked. Yeah, we'll draw another card. There's the Hitmon Chan. That's what we're looking for. And I'm thinking that we'll judge his whistle for one. Just a field blow. I think it was Cynthia. Let's just Cynthia out of this. And see what we're into after that. Stella Wish. Looking for a nest ball. There we go. Alright, got me my nest ball. We will go and get me down a Tapu Coco as well. So I've got the Guzma to switch as well, so that's all right. So right now, I am done there. Oh, I need the Deancy, actually. Rather than the Tapu Coco. It's all right, I could still Stellar Wish into one. Because a Deancey with the choice band will get me up to 80. Which gets Dialga into Shrine and Hitmonlee territory if they go to the bench. Which is, you know, always fun. Or I can bench Sniper Beldum maybe. Who knows? All right, so what do I want to do here? I'm thinking we start the Stellar Wish, see what I get myself into. So I can get my Deancey. Let's just make sure Deancey's here. In fact, I'm not going to be able to see the uh, whole lot here. That's what we shall be doing. We will nest ball. Go and get the Deancey up. And right now, we'll choice ban to uh, the uh, Hitmonchan. For South the Hitmon Legs, I want to keep the DCE as an option. Although, I'm having to Guzma up. Which is unfortunate. But, we'll Guzma up here. I mean, it is a KO, I guess. Bring my Hitmonchan here. I think we'll just draw a card with the Judge's Whistle, see what I got myself. Just the Rescue Stretcher. Don't think I need to put another Hitmon Lee down right now, so we'll hit and run. Uh, don't get the KO actually on this Beldum, but at least I get a bit of damage. And we'll go into the Jirachi again. It's a pity, I wonder hit 80 on that Dialga. But I won. So the second Dialga down. It's going to judge me. That uh, isn't the end of the world. Five o'clock. So we'll tuck a, uh, chuck a shrine down to start chipping away at these numbers. We'll sell a wish first. I need a switch of some kind. There we go. And we're going to start by switching into the Hitmonlee here. And we're going to Lily now. I don't think I want anything else on the bench right now. So we'll Lily. I mean, we have options. 
think I'll hold just a moment because I want to keep that last bench spot available. Now the 90, we're going to hit into the Diagora down the back. Just to put that Diagora under a little bit of pressure, sitting back there on the bench. So had the stadium to ask the shrine straight away. And... I don't think he's actually got the KO here on the Hitmonlee. It's going to field blow away my choice band. That's a pity. Got to possibly be careful of the, the timeless attack. That could be a little bit annoying. So what am I after here? I'm thinking that... Well, first of all, we've got to find a way out of this out of this in general. So I'm thinking right now that we're just throwing this. I don't need anything from the deck. I'm just going to whiff. And I'm now going to need to set up something. Possibly the Tapi Coco. So then I can Erica's Hospitality. Ouch. So I'm going to have to manually switch, which is not really what I want to do. I don't have much of a choice for the moment, so we're going to manually retreat, go on to the Hitmonchan, and for the moment, we are going to hit and run, and put ourselves into the Tapi Coco. Now that Diaga sitting on the bench there is sitting in tasty range of two prize cards. And that is tasty range. Yep, go on the Timeless GX. So who am I putting up here? I think I put the Hitmonchan up because I've got the Hitmonchan in uh, hand as well. Although, he's within one hit of the Hitmonlee anyway, but that's giving him a second prize card. Do I really want to be giving him a second prize card straight away here? So I knew that was coming. Just thinking, I'm wanting... Hitmonlee up, even though it's going to give a second prize card, because at least it conserves the energy, and I need that energy on the Hitmonchan. And I do have another Hitmonlee coming, so that's perfectly fine as well. And we can Guzma up. And I'm thinking bringing the other Dialga into the active. So we'll chuck Jirachi down. Bring the other Dialga into the active. And get rid of this Dialga. So that's going to be the play. So we're going to Hitmonlee here. Chuck a Fighting NG down on the Hitmonlee. Chuck a Jirachi down as well. And we shall still a wish, see what I've got myself here. A Shrine. I'm liking the Shrine. So we'll take the Shrine here. And we're going to use the Shrine to oust this stadium. And now we're going to Guzma up this Diaga into the Hitmonlee. And that's all I want just for the moment. So we'll special combo and we'll hit into this Diaga here. Oh, I thought that had more damage on it than that. Oh well. If he leaves the Diaga in the back line there, it's going to go, like, it's going to be KO'd in two turns anyway. If he can't oust the shrine. So, that's really good for me, and I can put a lot more pain onto this dagger up the front, too. So, give me a switch. Alright, chip away at those GX Pokemon. So, I've got two prize cards here, no matter what. Do I set up another Hitmonlee for the moment? 
I think I do. So, NG onto you. Will Cynthia out of this hand? I need to find a way to switch. Guzma's, ouch. All right, so I'm gonna have to just discard this energy, which is less than ideal. Because I'm gonna begin to run out of energy options. So, choice band on the Hitmonchan. We will retreat to the Hitmonchan, just manually. And we shall hit and run. And chuck Jirachi up the front. Says four prize cards this turn. Not sure exactly, so there's an escape board. Could have done that with it earlier. There's another two prize cards. There's another escape board. No wonder I wasn't finding my escape boards. All right, so I've got a snipe here as well with the Hitmonlee. Now he's got the KO here on the Jirachi. So do I chuck the Jirachi in the active? Definitely, because I've got the skateboards now. So that is just a simple choice. Jirachi into the active. And we shall now sell a wish, see what I get myself into. A rescue stretcher, which could be good. I mean, what's he put into the discard? A Tapu Koko, a Hitmonlee, a Jirachi. I mean, why not? Let's just burn this. Shuffle three, back into the deck. U3, go back in. And right now, I'm actually thinking the Guzma would be better because then I can bench snipe. So the Guzma to the Cosmog will be a better play here. Which is what I'm now going to go for. So Guzma up the Cosmog. To the Hitmonchan. And we shall hit and run again. And we'll chuck the Hitmonlee into the active. And get within one prize card. Now he's going to need to evolve that Beldum this turn. Because that is a tasty prize card sitting on the bench for me. And if he plays anything on the bench as well, he's probably going down. So I'm liking my position here. Yep, that is game. Hitmonlee gets a nice bench snipe here. the old special combo and that is belt him down that's game that was uh, a lot more effective than I thought it'd be good game hello Luigi lad or Luigi lad Luigi lad that was terrible <laughs> that was woefully bad uh, this is a horrendous hand absolutely horrendous I mean, whilst it has Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan down, there is no NGs to be seen. There's plenty of NGs in the deck. There's an NG. Good. Just in time. And a Cabalion up the front. All right, tool drop. The Cabalion could be really good for me. So what we're doing right now is all we can really do. And that is to go... Oh, I'm going first. Well, that sucks for me. Oh well, shine away. That's all I can do. It's got a metal frying pan. Which makes them more difficult to get rid of. What does that do? Opponents, two opponents next turn, you can't attack. That's really annoying. Why would you do something like that? That's just mean. Well, at the moment I'm completely bricked and I don't feel like there's much point doing anything right now. I mean, if there's a stadium in play, I feel like probably putting that out right now would be a good thing. So we'll escape rope, send something else to the active place.
And that shall do me. Completely bricked. Keep chipping away at that Cabalion for me in the back line. I don't mind that at all. Using a Jasmine. So you do resist fighting here, which is good for you. Are you going to retreat out of this? Nope, going to use the Collect. So my opponent's bricked as well, thankfully. And I'm unbricked. What do I want to do here? Do I want to Guzma up the Cabalion and get a nice hit off? But that hit's only going to be for 30. That's not a nice hit. That's a pathetic hit. So I'll switch to the Hitmonchan. We'll chuck another Hitmon Lee down just to get rid of it from the hand. And I feel like it's a complete waste of an escape board. But I want to thin. So having a skateboard, hit one Lee. And we'll Cynthia. Got options. So tap it Coco now. And have yourself a choice band. DCE as well. I mean, I could take out this Pidgey instead. I'm actually thinking of taking out the Pidgey. That's a lot of resources to burn. No, we'll hit and run. We'll hit and run. It's not doing much. I know that's doing 10 damage to be exact. It's pathetic. Uh, and we'll go hit my lead. Keep shrining away though. Keep shrining away. It's got a metal frying pan onto that Cabalion. But if I hit it with the special combo, that metal frying pan doesn't mean too much. And 90 onto it, it's 140, 160, after two more shrines. You'll be having to get it out of the active pretty uh well out of the out of here pretty quickly. What's that thing do? Well, that's annoying. Alright, so right here. I feel like Tapu Coco goes down so we can have a look. Keep shining away. So it is one-shotting me just at the moment. But 70, 100, that's back to 70. What do I want to do here? I'm thinking that what we actually do is just Cynthia for a new hand. See what I get myself into after that. Alright, so we do have a bent snipe on the Pidgey. Which will one-shot the Pidgey quite nicely. Or I could go after that Anguish, but that's not pulling me prize cards. And I do think I need to pull prize cards at the moment, so... We shall go to the Hitmonlee at the moment. In fact, no, we are escape roping. Who do you want to bring to the active, please? Ah, Pidgey to the active, all right. Hitmonlee up front. And Hitmonlee, you're gonna do a nice special combo onto the Cabalion. If you want to bring Cabalion up to the front, that's fine. But it could work really badly for you. And getting that Cabalion will even up the prize card race, so... As Hone Edge comes down. And right here, we'll chuck a Tapu Coco on. I mean, what's nice here is the Hitmonchan's attack gets the Cabalion out right now. So, what we're doing is we are chucking Jirachi down, because that's good for me. And I think we sent there, because I don't really want to chuck a Choice Band on anyone, because that gives me no real value. Or do I want to thin? Perhaps I want to thin. So, let's just chuck you on the Tapu Coco. We shall Cynthia for a new hand here. 
So Hitmonlee can go down and Deancey Prism Star, which is really good for me. Uh, so Deancey Prism Star, where are you? There you are. What we're looking for here, I reckon, is maybe a Tapu Coco DCE, because I'm not able to charge anyone else right now. So we'll chuck it onto you, although. No, 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 because 30, that count as this. So then you're doing 20, but it spreads damage. I get more value out of a Tapu Coco here. Shrined out of here. Couple of prize cards. Got a fighting engine and a skateboard. Yeah, I think the Tapu Coco hit was a nice hit. Get some extra energy down. I also damage down onto the field. And if he doesn't evolve this into a Pidgeotto here, this goes down. Even if he does evolve into a Pidgeotto, this goes down. If he leaves in the active, obviously. But that's his NG attachment for the turn, isn't it? So Nest Balling, getting another Pidgey set up. That's alright, we can spread some damage now. I'm thinking that's the way that we're playing at the moment. So we'll NG onto the Deancey's, although I've got a nice big hit. That's still coming, so... We will now Erica's Hospitality. We can go and get Buzzwall, but I don't want to get him to the next turn just in case. So right here, I just want to keep the hand. Just want to keep the hand. Flying Flip takes out this Pidgey, gets 20 damage. Onto most. I mean, or it gets 20 damage onto these guys. I mean, that's good. Well, Flying Flip. Get some damage onto him. We've got a fighting NG. So if you don't get the KO here, I'm just trying to think what this guy's previous attacks were. So you've got tool drop, which is the amount of tool NGs in play. In fact, actually, that's. Yeah, that's got the KO. Tool drop. No, it doesn't have the KO. I oh, yeah, because I resist. Gotta look at my resistance. That is a fantastic resistance play for me because now I can get a Buzzwall attack off. Which is huge for me. So we're going to go and get... Where are you? Oh, you're not here. Well, that makes me sad. That makes me really sad. Alright, well, I don't want to pull anything. So we'll whiff on that. I mean, what I can do instead is, do I get another flying flip? So we'll tap a Coco down. We'll get another NG onto the Tapu Coco, I'm feeling. And I think we Guzma at the moment. I'm thinking that's the play to this Pidgey just in here, because I hit nicely for weakness that way. Although I've got 20 damage on it. Do I Guzma to this one? Yeah, that's what we're going to do. So we'll Guzma. We'll bring the Jirachi in because that gives me a nice pull as well. So we'll Stellar Wish here. And what do I want? Another Guzma, a Lily, an Ultra Ball, Switch. What don't I have? Don't have a Switch. Thinking that's what we want. I mean, Lily's completely useless at the moment. So, we'll skateboard onto the Jirachi, even though Tool Drop's really good for that. So, that's probably a mistake. And we'll go to the Tapu Coco just in here. I could have got a KO onto that Pidgey if I pulled that up, but I want to try and get him stuck in the active. So, we'll just hit for those two. Because it gives me more time as well, just to set myself up. The Pidgey's into a nice shot with the Tapu Coco. Yeah, and it's bricked him. So what I want to do now is I'm feeling like I hit him with the Hitmonlee, so then I've got tons of options from there. To ignore resistance and start hitting it on these guys. 
which is really good for me. So what we're going to do here is we are going to retreat to the Hitmonchan. I mean, I've got a lot of cards that I like right now. I should have actually retreated to the... No, because I was manually retreating. So we're just going to hit and run now. And we are going to pull in this Tapicoco over here. Get another prize card. Now that Pidgey's within a nice little flying flip. And the Cabalion's coming back out to play. Alright, so Jirachi, you're up front here. You're definitely up front, buddy. So that coming out to play is an interesting call. Especially since I've got my Hitmonlee's attack this turn. Who do I want to set up? Nest Ball. Who's important? Possibly Hitmonchan. I'm thinking that we also Rescue Stretcher everyone. So you guys can come back to play. And we'll set up this Hitmonchan as well. We are going to Stellar Wish now. To a... I think a Guzma in hand would be really good. That's what we want. Guzma in hand. Just another Guzma. And what we're going to do is we are going to Guzma up this guy. Yeah, that's what we're playing here. So we're going to Guzma up this guy again. And we are going to go to the Hitmonlee here. And we are going to special combo into that lovely, tasty two prize Pokemon that's sitting there. <laughs> so now we are goosebering to that Cabalion if you do not pull him somehow. Putting a nice tasty two prize Pokemon into the active was really interesting. And I'm making switching out really difficult for you. Yeah, so this game's over now. So we now goose up the Cabalion to the Hitmonchan. And we are now hitting and running. And we'll run to this Jirachi right now. That's game. There we go. It's able to beat Tool Drop. It's able to work around it quite nicely. I mean, the switching was just too much. And the Cabalions just gave me nice, tasty two prize card pulls. So, yeah, good game. Good game. And it is time to rate this deck. So, what do I think? Well, this is one of those builds that if you get the right matchup, you can have a lot of fun and keep in the match quite well. If you get the wrong matchup, uh, you just can't keep up. I mean, I'm really looking at you, Selby and Venusaur Tag Team GX. I had no answer to that deck whatsoever. It just destroyed me. But anyway, let's start rating it. So, starting with damage here, the damage isn't great. I mean, the 90 bench snipe is handy, and hopefully that's getting you you know, keeping you up with the prize card or pushing you ahead of the prize card race. And that one off Sledgehammer can hopefully, you know, be quite effective as well. But the damage here, it's not great. It's a 5 out of 10. The defense, the defense isn't great either. I mean, the upside is you're only trading one prize card, which boosts the defensive rating. But the biggest, heftiest Pokemon you've got is 130. And a lot of your main attackers, the 90, the 100... That's super easy to take down. So the defense, one prize card trade, that's what can I, I can say for it, but I'm giving it a seven out of 10. How about reliability? Well, this deck consistently does what it intends to do. It consistently gets attack off turn after turn, and I found that I preferred going second with this deck rather than first. So the reliability here, it does what it needs to do all the time. I didn't get bricked all that often, the problem is just getting the matchups, like I said, and, you know, being able to snipe away and get the prize cards that you need as you need them. So reliability, I'm giving an 8 out of 10 because it does consistently do what it intends to do. So overall, what do I think? I would not go out of my way to build this deck. I mean, there's some matchups you can have a bit of fun with, other matchups you got no hope, and when you get those matchups, it's not a lot of fun to play. So it's a niche deck. I'm giving it overall a 6 out of 10 for me.